Morning everyone, welcome to Blundstone Arena. You join us for this match between Scotland and United Arab Emirates. I'm Mike Atherton and joining me for what should be an exciting contest is Mel Jones, Ali Mitchell, Ian Healy and the one and only David Gower. Hi Mike, thanks for that intro. Earlier I took a look at the conditions for the day and the pitch has been prepared beautifully, something for everyone. I'd say it's worth getting at the bat that we're ready to go. First ball of the innings about to be bowled. Waiting. Couldn't get it through the field. Lovely shot to start the innings. Unfortunate they just couldn't find a gap. Waiting. Short and wide, did well to get some bat on that. Yep. It's wide and they're all over it. Brilliant square drive, flies away to the boundary. Well, that was a really solid shot. Read the length early to get onto the front foot and that raced away for four. Perfectly timed. You can't fault that shot. Nicely played and it was four runs all the way. You can see how good this pitch can be for batting. You want the player coming forward, but it's a tight margin. Only a touch full and put away. Oh. Beaten on the drive. Oh, well That's wild. Nothing elegant about that shot. Just not timing it at all. It's poor play. Yeah, yep. Huge edge. Yeah. End of the over. United Arab Emirates are none for nine. Dixon given the job here to bowl the last over of the innings. Big edge. Yes. There'll be one run here for them. A big opportunity. They've worked hard in recent weeks. They should have the confidence to build an innings and get big runs on the board. Yep. Ease through the field. There'll be runs here. And with that, they're off the mark. It's been a poor innings under pressure, and now they've got the key batter out cheaply. With the fall of that wicket, the new batter comes out to the crease. They're quick to take guard and face up. A change to the complexion of this match. Got to get the new batter coming forward early, encouraging them to drive and really attack the stumps. Edged! And again, see you later, two wickets on the trot. An innings that promised much and really, in the end, delivered very little. Pretty disappointing all round. The worst possible time to be coming into bat. Just have to settle in and not think about the previous wickets. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's nice well, that's perhaps a little harsh. I felt it wasn't that wide. Usman, ready to face their first ball really needs to settle quickly and see if they can get the ball into the gaps. Yep. Edged, there's no one there, could go down to the boundary. Nothing really wrong with the delivery, got onto the front foot and found the space to get that one to the boundary. Oh. Yep. 
I don't think there was any bat on that as they come through for the single. End of the over, eight off it. United Arab Emirates are two for 17. And the innings comes to an end. Scott the flashy, just get themselves in and build the run rate. Yes. Hits that well onto the back foot and cracks it away. Really just seemed to have put that one into the slot with the first ball to the new batter. All the same, it's a glorious shot for your first ball. Yeah, yeah. Nice shot. That's what you pay the entrance money for. It's flown into the crowd. A brilliant shot off the front foot. No need to move. they'll get at least one. Keep up. A lot of pressure coming to the crease. Not had the best of weeks leading up to this game and will want to show everyone their strength. Immediately underway with some runs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bowler is confident on this one. the gap perfectly it was just a little bit too full and it was beautifully timed over Scotland are none for 17 the right armor is coming into the attack from the river end scores now level just one run needed only a batting meltdown could stop victory now yes sounded good the moment it hit the bat Extremely comfortable win 